What new discoveries are waiting out there? What new adventures can we see? What are the answers to the never-ending questions in your brain that's in a race to find the reason or the place where we find we're to outer space so that the truth of any case can be unfurled in the real world? Science in the real world. Hi, I'm Kirsten. Welcome to Real World Science. Trash, garbage, litter, solid waste. What happens to it when we throw it out? That's what this program is all about. If you're ready, let's go. Earth's Recycling System. Did you know that every living thing on Earth creates waste? When you take a walk in the woods, you can see thousands of leaves on the ground. The tree no longer needed the leaves, so they fell to the ground. The leaves became waste. What happens to the leaves? They become part of nature's recycling system. To understand how nature's recycling system works, you need to know two important words decompose in raw materials. Decompose means to change, break down, rot, or decay. Raw materials are natural substances which are taken or grown from the ground. Raw materials are trees, rocks, plants, and minerals. Here's how the Earth's recycling system works. In this diagram, plants and animals produce waste, and animals and plants die. The waste decomposes and changes into raw material. The raw materials become part of the soil. The soil provides nutrients for new life and new things begin to grow. It's a good thing nature is so efficient at recycling. Imagine if leaves didn't decompose. Leaves would cover the entire earth. Where does garbage go? Nature is very good at recycling. However, humans haven't been as efficient as they could be. Every day, people all over the world throw stuff away. But unlike natural materials, many things people throw away don't decompose, at least not for a long, long time. What kinds of things do people throw out? Well, let's follow Kristen around for just one day and take a look at what she throws away. After breakfast, Kristen threw away the banana peel she had with her cereal and an empty orange juice carton. When she got dressed, she discovered a hole in one of her socks, so she threw the pair away. After lunch, Kristen threw away a brown paper bag a plastic bag from her sandwich, a chip bag, a juice box, an apple core, packaging from her cupcakes, and a paper napkin. When Kristen did her homework, she made a couple of mistakes, so she threw some paper away too. This is just some of the stuff Kristen threw away in one day. How much stuff do you throw away every day? It is estimated that the average person in the United States throws away almost 4.5 pounds of solid waste per day. That adds up to 1 billion pounds a day, and that would fill 100,000 garbage trucks. That's what makes garbage such a big problem. There's just so much of it. What kind of stuff do we throw away? According to the Environmental Protection Agency in the United States, just over 28.5% of all the waste we throw away is paper. About 13.4% is garden waste like grass clippings and branches. 9% is textiles, clothing and cloth materials. 13.9% is food waste. 9% is metal. 4.6% is glass, 
6.4% is wood, 12.4% is plastic. To give you a better idea of what that really means, let me show you some examples. Americans throw away enough office paper every year to build a 12-foot high wall from Seattle to New York. More than 28 billion glass bottles and jars end up in landfills every year. That is the equivalent of filling up two Empire State Buildings every three weeks. When we leave the trash out on the curb for the garbage truck to take away, where does it go? Well, first it is collected by your town's sanitation department or a private trash collection company. Your trash, along with waste from the other homes in your town, are brought to a garbage transfer station. At the garbage transfer station, some sorting is done. Workers sort out glass, paper, plastic, and metal. Some machines sort the trash too. Some of the solid waste that could not be sorted is then transferred to the community landfill. In the United States, approximately 55% of waste is buried in this way. A landfill starts as a big hole in the ground. Garbage is dumped into the landfill, it is covered with dirt. Some landfills are covered on the bottom and lined with heavy plastic sheets and can remain leak-proof for many years. The plastic keeps the decomposing trash from seeping into the ground. Eventually, buried garbage will decompose. Some materials decompose quickly. Others can take centuries. For example, a wool sock takes about one year to decompose in a landfill. A banana peel can take anywhere from two to five years to decompose in a landfill. Some plastics can take 400 years to decompose. An aluminum can can take from 200 to 500 years to decompose. And a styrofoam cup will never ever decompose. Knowing that, think about this. If you lined up all the styrofoam cups manufactured in just one day, they would circle the entire earth. After many years of use, the landfill can grow from a hole in the ground to a fairly large hill of garbage. Landfills close when it gets full or too high. They can then become parks, sports fields, or parking lots. Instead of burying garbage, some communities burn their trash in places called waste-to-energy facilities. There, the garbage is burned and turned into electricity that is used to power homes and businesses. First, the trash is delivered to the facility where it is stored. Then, large cranes scoop up large amounts of trash, which are loaded into a hopper. The hopper feeds a large furnace. Inside the furnace, garbage is burned very efficiently. This creates the energy to make electricity. All that remains of the trash is waste to energy ash, which can be used for making things such as roads for our cities and towns. Waste to energy facilities is a positive way of turning trash into useful products. Recycling. Well, just about everybody agrees that the best way to handle garbage is to recycle. Recycle means to reuse waste products. Different types of garbage are recycled in different ways. Glass jars and bottles must be sorted by color before they can be recycled. Paper can be mixed with water and broken down to make pulp, which can be used to make cardboard. Wood and yard waste can be shredded into mulch that can be used again too. Plastics are difficult to recycle because there are so many kinds. But there are some kinds that can be useful. Scrap metal are also sorted and placed into different bins. These materials will be transferred to factories that can turn them back into useful products. Recycling also helps us to save natural resources and raw materials. 
Since paper is made from wood pulp, using recycled paper helps to save trees. What can you do to help? Remember the three R's. Recycle, reuse, reduce. Let's take, for example, Kristen. What else could she have done besides throw all her garbage away? The first thing Kristen threw away was a banana peel. What else could she have done with the banana peel? Throw it into a compost heap. Compost is a mixture of leaves, grass, vegetable, and fruit peels that naturally decompose to make food for growing plants. Many families have compost bins in their yard. You and your family can start one too. At lunchtime, she could have avoided throwing away so much garbage in a couple ways. First, instead of using a paper lunch bag, she could get a cloth bag or lunch box that she can use every day. And instead of drinking juice from a cardboard container, she could have used a thermos. Her sandwich and chips could have been carried in a reusable plastic container. And one more thing Kristen could have done, and we all can do, is when we make a mistake on a piece of paper, instead of crumbling it up and throwing it away, use the other side. It helps to save trees and energy. Many communities have a way of recycling paper, so you can save newspapers and other papers and turn them in for recycling. In addition, everyone should avoid buying foods that are overpackaged. What's overpackaged mean? Consider this box of chocolate. It's sealed with plastic. It has a box lid, corrugated packaging, protective greaseproof paper, and a cardboard box bottom. All this for a little bit of chocolate. There's no doubt about it. There's a lot of garbage in the real world. The good news is that each and every one of us can do something about it. If we recycle, reuse, and reduce, we can make the world a better place to live.